everybody. So, I got a surprise for you this week. Um, something came up and I decided to jump on the opportunity because it was uh, something simple that I could do. And for my day 12 of the running training program, I'm actually gonna be doing a 5K. I signed up for the Love of Chocolate 5K in Winter Garden, Florida um, by Dreamfinders Homes. Uh, yesterday, I went and picked up my race bib, and that's everything that's going to be in this bag. I'll put the video in from yesterday right now so you guys can see that. Hey guys, so ignore the dogs barking, but it's Friday, two days before the For the Love of Chocolate race. I'm picking up the bib right now, so we had to come to this home. And once I get everything, I'll film some more so you guys can see what I got. And today, I'm just gonna show you what they gave me in the uh, packet that I got. And then from there, I will show you the video of the race because that's gonna be part of the day 12 for the training program for the 5K. I do not recommend doing this because I think you should finish your training program first. So I just signed up for this for fun, and um, there's a good chance that I won't be running the entire thing. I think I'm going to be walking most of it just to get it done, get a feel for what the race is like, get a feel for what it's like at the environment, how many people show up, what it's like on the course, things like that. I wanted to figure out prior to doing, you know, a timed 5K for my best time for a PR. This one is not going to be for a PR. It's just to see where I'm at. I know I could walk at least a 5K, I do it every day. And obviously my range, my training program has gone pretty well with running. So let's see what we got. First thing they gave us was this Health and Harvest little pamphlet. Has a bunch of different things in the area, uh, nothing too crazy. I also got this body health amino acid mix that you can put into water. Gives you energy, things like that for supplements. Um, they gave me a running light that could be clipped to like a cap or something. I also got my race bib. The wind is blowing it a little. But I got my race bib, it's got the timing tag on the back. I'll be wearing number 75. Go Rebo. And the final thing that they gave us was a t-shirt. So I'm gonna bring this with me after I run because I'm gonna run on one of my running shirts, but I'll put this on afterwards. And uh, after the race, hopefully I'll be getting a medal. Gave me sponsors on the backside. But overall, pretty cool packet for uh, my first time doing any kind of 5K or any kind of race. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to get there and uh, see how it goes. I'm looking to have fun and uh, not gonna worry about the time. Like I said, this is just to get through a 5K. This is just for, just for fun. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to try it. And maybe the next race that I sign up for will be one where I go for my personal best or PR best time, whatever I can go for, uh, and see how long it really does take me to finish one 5K. All right, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. And I hope that you will subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell so you're notified every time a new video is uploaded and leave a comment. I'd love to talk to somebody. All right. Till next time, keep running, and I'll see you real soon. All right, everybody. I am all set for tomorrow. Got my shoes ready, my shorts and shirt. The shirt they gave me, I'm going to put that on afterwards. This is all the gifts they gave us. You can see we got a light right there. Those are the amino acids. I got that Dreamfinders bag. They also gave us the Health Harvest little booklet that gives us a bunch of other stuff. And then there's my race bib and the t-shirt that I will wear after. Um, 
I know I have a lot of drinks up at the top, I still haven't decided. I'm gonna definitely bring water in my race belt, and uh, what I meant for what I'm gonna drink after the race, most likely that uh, body armor, the Mamba, it's strawberry grape, that's probably what I'll have after the race, and then I have the skin glide right up here um, to prevent any chafing, as you can see my race belt, which is down here. It's got the pouch for my phone, and then I fill up those two 8-ounce water bottles. There's my Beats headphones. i got my socks all the way over here. I like the Belegas, the Hidden Comforts. Those are very comfortable to me. So, this is it. I'm ready. First race ever. Wish me luck. Here we go. We got T-Rex playing a steel drum for us. Coming up on mile one. Not too bad, eh? Hey guys, so I know you're in the middle of my 5K video from the For the Love of Chocolate 5K. I uh, just wanted to give a little recap of what I was thinking while I was running the race. Um, let's talk about that first mile. So, starting off the race, I had no intention of running at all. I was actually planning on walking the entire thing just to get through the feel of a race, see what it was like to get the bib set up, where to stand before I run. Um, and then I crossed the uh, starting line. <laughs> as soon as I crossed the starting line, I was like, you know what, here, let me do this. I have to run this. And I started to run. Um, the problem was I wasn't, I, I rushed through turning on some of my apps that I used to help me maintain my pacing and running and stuff. But, um, in the beginning, I was congested and I wanted to like catch up with the fact that like maybe the first 30 seconds that I did walk. So I started running and I didn't stop. <laughs> and I shouldn't have done that. That's not what my training program has been about. That's not what I've been following. And that kind of burned me out within the first half mile. But after that first half mile was over, I switched back to going to the 45 second run and the 30 second walk. Uh, it might have been 40 at that time. Yeah, 40 second run, 30 second walk. So that was the first mile. Once I hit to that first mile, I was like, wow, that was long. <laughs> it felt like a while and uh, that's okay. First time trying to figure this out, see how the pacing goes, see how other people are on the tracks. Um, Pass a mile too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Some more T-Rex <laughs> playing that steel drum. Let's talk about mile two. Mile two, I didn't get a picture with the mile because at that point I was running past it. I did video it, so you guys should have seen that video by now. Um, mile two wasn't bad. Stayed with my pacing. That was at the 1.5 mile marker. There was a water station. Um, got to see everybody there. You know, wave hello. I didn't stop for water because I was carrying it on my belt. But it was uh, not bad. Just a generic mile going uphill was the end of that mile. So when you see me passing the mile two marker, we were going uphill just a very little bit, small gradual grade. So mile two was going uphill just very gradually. Um, once I passed mile two, we had to do a turnaround and come back down the road that we were on. Going up mile two though, we were on a sidewalk, uh, probably like a double wide sidewalk. And I got caught behind three people that were walking and there was just no way for me to get around them. They were blocking the entire sidewalk. And uh, I didn't want to be rude and say like, you know, excuse me, coming through. So I just kept quiet, stayed behind them until I found like a, an area where there was no bushes and I actually ran on the grass to go around them. Um, that was the only like 
mishap I'd say I had with like so many people. In the, even in the beginning when there was a lot of people, there was always a place to get through and run through. Um, but just in that one going up to mile two was the only section that was a little like congested, I should say. Just so everybody knows, I have been run walking this entire time. 40 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And the first two miles was a breeze. Training helped out there. This last mile has been very tough though. I haven't trained this long, but we're getting there. At least I am running. There's a good sign all the way back down there. It's hard to see on the camera, but that's the finish line. So I'm not far. A couple more runs left. Um, so then on the way down to mile three, it's downhill now, so things are a lot easier, but my legs were really hurting at this point. Now I have not run three miles yet. The, the furthest I had gone in the training program was a 30 minute run. And that got me, I believe like 2.4 something miles. So when I hit that two and a half mile mark, I was feeling okay. I knew I could do it because I had gotten that far before, but my legs were really starting to like say, all right, this is, uh, this is getting a little tough here. You're going a little further than we are normally used to. And I was okay with that, but um, my run segments really start to slow down. I mean, I was at like maybe just a fast walking pace, which that's okay. It was my first time doing this and I uh, just had to get a test run in, right? I came up to the mile three marker and I wanted to take a picture. The problem was it was raining so much that day that my phone was wet, my fingers were wet, and I couldn't slide on my phone to get over to the camera. And I probably wasted about an entire, I'd say at least a minute, at the third mile marker, which I did take a picture, I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. Um, the I wasted an entire minute sitting there just trying to get a picture of this third mile marker while I could see the finish line, which is only a tenth of a mile away. Um, <laughs> and I kept saying to myself, like, what are you doing? You're crazy. Let's go, finish the race. So I finally got the picture. Um, and then I decided I'm gonna run in the end and I don't have any kind of like gimbal or stabilizer on my phone. So when you do see me running guys, I'm sorry that the video is shaking so much. Uh, but I tried to get as much of it as I can so that I can cross that finish line. Uh, I don't remember the time. I'll put my certificate in the video right now so that you guys can see whatever my time was. I believe it was just over 40 minutes. And uh, that was it. I got my medal. I got my, uh, I had a banana and a piece of chocolate and uh, they gave me out waters. So that was the end of the race. And uh, this is what I drank after. Nice strawberry grape, Mamba Forever body armor. Um, this is my preferred beverage to drink after I run. I, I think it is the most hydrating drink I've ever had. What do you guys like? What do you drink after you run? Is it Gatorade? Just straight water? Have you ever tried body armor? I used to be a Gatorade person, but body armor has completely won me over. I am now, that's all I buy. Um, I'll have a Gatorade every once in a while. That's all that I have out, but body armor is definitely my favorite one. My favorite is this Mamba strawberry grape flavor. Uh, I also like blackout berry. Which one's your favorite? Have you tried body armor before? Is this your favorite? Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below what's your favorite drink for after a race or after a run or anything like that. It could be Gatorade, water, body armor, doesn't matter. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, back to the race video. Hopefully you enjoy the end. So right now I'm going to show you guys the video of me crossing the finish line. Check it out right now. All right. Just got past their mile marker. Last part of the run. I'm going to take you guys in for the finale. Hey guys, well, 
that's gonna wrap it up for the love of chocolate 5k I got my medal as you guys can see it was awesome I couldn't film much because of the rain it just rained the entire time but I'll try to come up with some kind of ending a little later today so that at least this has some kind of conclusion to it because it was just so wet and so I couldn't even swipe on my phone to get to the camera so hope you guys enjoy it see you real soon keep running all right guys and that was for the love of chocolate 5k i had a blast i hope you had a blast do me a favor please subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more runs that i'm going to be doing in the future watch some of the training program if you're interested in running um leave a like leave a comment below hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time a new video is uploaded and uh let's go get some more medals